can't go to sleep on that Lamar fast break. Mike Oliver's record set 30 years ago has gone by the board. Oh. They make the one in the kiss. Touchdown Cardinals. That's Marcus Jackson. Marcus Jackson. From the Bull U Broadcast Center, you're watching KFDM 6 News at 6 in HD. You know how some guys are. You, you, you know something wrong with you and you don't take care of it. And I think that's kind of what, what happened to me. A former Lamar University star who took part in a number of battles on the court is facing a new challenge in a different arena. Good evening, I'm Kelly Phillips. Thank you for joining us. James Gully suffered his first share of bumps and bruises and injuries during a noteworthy basketball career at Lamar University in Beaumont. Now he's trying to overcome colon cancer for the second time. Gully admits he ignored some of the warning signs and he wants others to understand the importance of cancer screening. Six News anchor Ashley Gaston reports Gully plans to beat the disease with the support of his family. 71-68. Gully with his first shot puts it in. King goes to the floor. That's where James Gully wore number 54 on the Lamar Cardinal basketball team. His size and strength made him hard to miss and tough to defend. He played from the mid to late 1980s and remains in the top three for points and rebounds at LU. You either made it out or, you know, you, you didn't. And I fought to make it out because, you know, like I say, coming up, it was kind of difficult, you know, coming from a single, you know, single home. That drive took the Newton native to Lamar, the NBA, and then overseas to play professional basketball for 12 years. Gully says he made all the right choices except one. I'll tell anyone I was afraid to go to the doctor because I knew something was wrong. Gully ignored the symptoms for about a year. He dropped 60 pounds, and last month, he ended up in the emergency room. And I was totally dehydrated and, and uh, ended up having to get seven pints of blood. Doctors diagnosed him with advanced colorectal cancer. This is the second time he's battled the disease. Gully is now receiving chemotherapy and radiation five days a week at Texas Oncology in Beaumont. I, I know now that if I'd have came a little bit quicker, okay, maybe the tumor wouldn't have been as big. Uh, it's a matter of life and death. If you have something that, that's treatable at, a, at an early stage or something that you have to really do uh, uh, a lot of work to make the patient better later on. The radiation is working to shrink two large tumors. Gully is optimistic and so is his wife and their seven children. We're not going to let the sickness uh, take over. That's when your body start going down, once you start worrying about different things and uh, counts is just a word to me. 140 over 89. Okay. To the Gullies, it's just another obstacle in a life filled with challenges. They loom large. This time, Gully is able to find it. But none too large for this six foot nine former LU star. Nausea medicine and steroids. In Beaumont, Ashley Gaston, KFTM 6 News. A fundraiser is set for tomorrow in Jasper to help the Gully family with medical and travel expenses for his cancer treatment in Beaumont. The barbecue fundraiser is from 11 until 5 at the Jasper Fire Station on Water Street. For more information, you can contact Brandy Gully at 409-594-8833. That's 409-594-8833.